Welcome to a stupid ad. This is Colorful Shooter by Ishi Ishlilith. Ishlila, yeah. It's on Newgrounds. It's a bullet hell game. And it's... It's never going to be on the front page, no matter how good it is, because it's bullet hell. And I just wanted to share it with people. Because it's awesome. And... Oh, I can skip this. Good. This... I thought this was neat, but at the same time, it's initially hard to figure out what the hell you're supposed to do. But you can see with the fireworks, it says, click continue to the game. I think it's neat, but it's also kind of hard to see. I guess it becomes clear. I guess that's cool. Anyway. We're going to go to story mode. Oh, hey, my things are still saved. So, we're gonna stick with this one. Your beginning ship is pretty lame. It doesn't have all the options of the other ships. Um... There's a whole bunch of different ships. You get them by doing, basically by getting achievements. I've gotten half of them. Some are better than others. Almost all of them. Well, all of them are better than the basic ship. I'm going to go ahead with... Actually, yeah, this one. Normal. How many points... Your points you spend to get weapons. To upgrade your weapons. So, can I get... Yes, I can. First thing I want is freaking radial power. All the way up to there. Now, the way weapons work, every upgrade basically doubles the amount of damage you do. See, one damage, two, four, all the way up to 16. And the rate of fire does the same thing. It goes down from slow to fast. You know, it halves every time. Basically double damage. And so now we have this. Um, the radial is the green stuff. It auto-targets stuff, which is freaking awesome. The, shy, the side shot already comes maximized, apparently. It's the blue stuff uh, coming out of the side, obviously. And this, this beginning level is a total joke if you have the radial cannon maxed. Unfortunately, the processing power needed to run this isn't a joke. Um, the game runs fine. When I'm not recording, one thing that slows it down a bit is when you use, um... This is the neato background effect that's all trippy. But I won't be using it because it slows the it slows it down a little. Well, it makes it choppy. It doesn't really slow it down constantly. Anyway, I have a lot more points, so let's go ahead and just... Let's get diagonal, just because it can catch more things. The way the weapons work, you want to max out a single tree before you move on to the others. Also, the mode means more bullets. Rate of fire means faster. Power means more damage. The mode is pretty much always the best choice, then the rate of fire. Because it gives you a lot more chances to hit stuff. And the last thing you want is the power. But, you know, get what's cheapest at first, too, I guess. The... The amount of money it costs to get upgrades increases linearly. It's like a hundred thousand or yeah, I think a hundred thousand per. So one thousand one hundred thousand to five hundred thousand for the last upgrade. But the damage you do increases exponentially. So you always want to stick with the same gun until it's max. Also, most ships have limits like my ship cannot get. Um Actually, the ship may be able to upgrade everything. Huh. Most ships don't let you upgrade everything. Oh, the shield also increases exponent. Well, it just increases massive amounts. Not quite doubling, but close. The increased shield gives you way more defense. But I'm not going to need defense yet, so... Let's get rear fire and forward fire at minimal. Well, oh. Never mind, I ran out. Uh, as you notice, the bare minimum weapon is absolute trash, so even if you think, oh, I want one of each weapon, no you don't. The minimal weapon is total trash. Look how fast that boss went. Ow, wow. I have, like, no health. I just noticed that. I should probably get a shield upgrade at some point. Yeah. 
this game is pretty forgiving for a bullet hell shooter. You can you can get a lot of health. You usually have a lot more than I do. You can take quite a few hits. And well, there's usually a lot more bullets than there are now. You'll see in later levels. All of the ships are fairly well balanced. It's just that some of them absolutely own in the beginning and then they're okay by the end. they're just normal at the end and stuff like the normal ship the very basic ship just has to be upgraded to be any good, so the it makes the heart the first level tougher. Which is sort of nice because the first level is a total joke if you have the radial cannon. I'm not sure why I call it the cannon. Oh, two other things I like about the weapons in this game. It gives you I hate bullet hell shooters where you have like a single limp dick fucking one pixel wide bullet that you shoot once every thirty four hours. And you have to tap the button 8 billion times per second to shoot. No, this game fires automatically. Um, you don't even have to hold down a button. Which, you know, you're never not going to be shooting. So just go easy on my thumbs and make it always shoot. And also it gives you an amount of firepower that seems fair considering, you know, what the game is throwing at you. I just hate the super wimpy weapons that certain shooters give you. And the upgrade ability is awesome. Most bullet hell games don't do upgrades. Because, you know, they want fairly fixed difficulty levels. Aw, oh, crap. I'm gonna, like, die to this guy. Oh. Let's get... I always forget when I have tons and tons of points. There we go. Let's get a frontal weapon worth a crap. Barely. Um, this guy is hard to hit from down here. What you really want to do is go right up in his Kool-Aid and... Oh god... There we go. That hurt. There. There you go, that's how it's done. Yeah, you want to get next to him and hit him with a side shot. Hitting him forward is really tricky. And I should get some more health whenever I can because that... The boss shots hurt a lot more than the normal shots which makes sense. And so they can... Like, the final boss can probably kill me in one hit right now. No, probably two, but... You'll die a lot quicker. And you... You really should avoid shots no matter what, not only just because it keeps you healthy, but the more kills you have stacked up in that, um, in the kill streak in the top right there, the more damage each of your shots does. I'm not sure how it scales exactly, but... Actually, I can't even say it's noticeable, but I know it exists, so you should do that, I guess. And it, it, it definitely raises your score more. Speaking of score, let's, let's just upgrade all of this. By the way, if you want the high score, you don't want all of the upgrades because your points are just points. They're both upgrade points and the points you get to submit your score. This is one of the few games I actually care about my score in because A, it's a bullet hell game, and B, I'm pretty good at it. And the score... The score of submitting thing is really simple, and it remembers my name, which is nice. I'm also number four on the list, I think, now. There's different game modes, and I have different places in all of them, but... Actually, I think I'm number three in easy mode. But I wasn't going to show you easy mode. I'm morally opposed to doing that as a let's play unless it's something like gundamodium which is oh ungodly difficult but it's also awesome and i really should do a playthrough of that i love that i love those games gundamodium um that one i can't pronounce and uh hitogata hapa those games are just freaking awesome and i love them and i want them to bear my children they're available for on the ps3 too which is the only way i heard of them but their developer, uh, Platinate Despotif, is fucking awesome. And the stuff they make is... Holy crap, my kill streak is 200. Go away, you're not ruining my kill streak. I'll kill all of your faces. And wow, that is a lot of points. Let's get shield for this. And th that shield upgrade costs absurd points. So yeah, I wonder if I will ever be able to get that. I th think there is a ship slash metal I get for... 
A streak this long and that's how low my health is still? Holy crap, I must have taken a massive beating. Die! No, you're not ending my streak now. I am at least gonna kill a boss with this freaking epic damage nuts here. I forget which boss. Oh yeah, it's the Lotus Flower one. Well, not quite Lotus. And I say that because in Hidogata Hapa, there's a character that shoots this massive, dense lotus shape of bullets. And she's fucking awesome, and she is awesome, and I love her, and I said awesome twice. But yeah. Actually, I think I have... Actually, I'm not sure about that. I have recorded videos of me beating the whole game with that epic character. Not sure if I have up it uploaded or not. How have I not taken a hit in so many levels? I don't think my kill rate... My uh, thing has ever been that high. Achievement! Epic. I I think there's one thing that just says upgrade your shields. I think I got that just now. And I think there's also one for upgrading everything. And I'm pretty sure I got that too. Holy crap, look at that score fly, baby. Hey, stop lagging, please. Okay, thanks. 300 kill streak. I could never do this in Gut Deadly, or what is it? Gun Demonium. There's also one called Gun Deadly Gnir or something. It's unpronounceable. It's the word gun and the word deadly and some random letters, basically. But the creator's Japanese, so what can you expect? Also, not to be derogatory or anything, but, you know. There's a, an amount of English in his games. But they're still awesome, like this game. I wonder if I could beat this game without taking any more hits. I, I, I didn't get the perfect. You can. There's a, an achievement for getting perfect, and there's a ship you unlock. I could probably do it in e I could definitely do it in easy with one of the other ships. Uh, I'm pretty sure I already took... I definitely already took damage. But I would just like to see how... Holy crap, get away from me. These freaking... Those ones that zoom up on your butt, those are very annoying. This is not... This is not a gay dance club. Please do not approach me from behind like that. It is... Whoa... Stop that. Also, upgrading your weapons as fast as possible is always very, very, very good because that lets you kill stuff faster, which minimizes the amount of bullets on the screen. Speaking of minimizing the amount of bullets on the screen, that's not what's going to happen here. Holy crap, I beat it without... Wow. That boss died really fast because of my insane kill streak. Level... 96. What does that level even mean? I honestly have no idea what that means. My final score is what? What order of magnitude is that? 42 million. Um, that puts me in third place, which is worse than I thought, but I was thinking, holy crap, that's epic. But yeah, there I am, third place. There's also post to Facebook. I, I press that and I don't know if it actually posts it to Facebook. I would like my friends to play this, but whatever. I'll just post this video or something. Anyway. Let's see what ship I unlocked. Paranoid. And more money than sense. Awesome. Those, they're largely customizable. I'm not sure why they're particularly good. I think I also got... No. No, um... Yeah, I think just the two at the bottom there. Let's check this out real quick. Press space to enter the ship. Yeah, radial... Right now, give me more. Uh, oh, that is all you get. That's interesting. You can't fire forward at all, except for with the radio cannon. That's interesting. Anyway, I'm going to end the video now. Go play this game right now because it's awesome and you should be playing it. So shut up. I know you, you don't have anything else to do. You're lying. You're on YouTube. Do it right now. Just do it.